Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today, I am going to introduce you to one of the biggest and most exciting railway projects in the region. Uzbekistan has announced that it has started a new chapter of cooperation and commitment to economic development with Afghanistan by starting the reconstruction of the Haradan mazar e sharif railway line. This huge project, with an estimated budget of more than $4.5 billion, will revive an economic bridge between the two countries. Since the beginning, Uzbekistan has accelerated the reconstruction of the Heratan mazar e sharif railway line as a rail connection point between the two countries of Uzbekistan and Afghanistan. Uzbekistan has said that the reconstruction and repair of the Herata mazar e sharif railway line will be carried out in several phases, and the two railway stations of Naibabad and Hairatan will be fully operational during the first phase. In this regard, in the first phase of this project, the 57-kilometer route between the two mentioned stations will be completely reconstructed to establish the rail connection between Uzbekistan and Afghanistan once again. According to the announcement of Uzbekistan Railways, more than 120 specialized workers of this company have attended the Naib Abad and Hairatan Railway project as a starting point for a new chapter of cooperation with Afghanistan. This project is a sign of Uzbekistan's commitment to Afghanistan's economic development and is considered a unique opportunity for training and cooperation of Afghan specialists with their Uzbek counterparts. Over the past months, the Uzbek government has taken a serious decision to build the Trans-Afghan Rail Corridor and connect it to the ocean port of Gwadar in Pakistan through Afghanistan's soil and rail network. The construction cost of this large railway project was estimated at $4.5 billion, and its initial plans were proposed in 2018. This rail corridor is supposed to start from Uzbekistan, and after passing through Afghanistan, it will go to Gwadar port in Pakistan. The head of the Afghanistan Railway Department has gone to Uzbekistan with a delegation to participate in the Afghan Trans Meeting, which was attended by representatives from Pakistan, Uzbekistan, and Afghanistan. In this meeting, opinions were exchanged about the Afghan Trans Project and the expansion of bilateral and multilateral cooperation. The construction cost of Trans-Afghan Railway has recently been estimated at about $7 billion. Before this, the construction cost of this railway with a length of more than 760 kilometers was more than $4.5 billion. The government of Taliban, Uzbekistan, and Pakistan signed the Memorandum of Understanding on the Afghan Trans Railway Route in Islamabad. The plan to build the Trans-Afghan Railway between Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, and Pakistan was presented in 2018 with the aim of creating an economic corridor connecting Central Asia to the waters of the Indian Ocean. This railway line starts from the city of Termez in Uzbekistan and will reach Peshawar in Pakistan after passing through the city of Mazar-e-Sharif, Logar province, and Kabul in Afghanistan. With this project, which is more than 760 kilometers long, it is expected that the freight transportation between Pakistan and Uzbekistan will be reduced to five days, and the cost of transportation between the two countries will be reduced by 40%. The purpose of this project is to help the trade and economic growth of the region. It is estimated that the construction of this project with a budget of $7 billion will be completed by the end of 2027, and in 2030, up to 15 million tons of cargo will be moved by the Faro Afghanistan Railway. If the Faro Afghanistan Railway project is implemented, the countries of the European Union, Russia, Uzbekistan, and Afghanistan will be connected to the ports of Pakistan in the Arabian Sea, and a new way will be opened for the export of goods to the countries of the Middle East and Southeast Asia. This railway line connects Central Asia to South Asia through Afghanistan, and this railway line starts from Uzbekistan, after passing through Balkh province in Afghanistan and then Paktia province, it will connect to Pakistan. This railway is an important route for trade between all three countries and will be of great economic benefit. Afghanistan is a mountainous and landlocked country. Not having access to open waters has made it focus on land transportation, but it uses the railway line the least. Due to the four decades of war in Afghanistan, 
little attention has been paid to the development of transportation infrastructure, especially the railway. The Afghan Trans Railway Project, as a huge step towards economic development and cooperation between Afghanistan and Uzbekistan, is associated with achieving multiple economic and social goals. With the reconstruction and operation of the Haritan Mazar e Sharif Railway, a rail connection has been provided between the two countries. And this project will help the economic development of Afghanistan and create an opportunity for Afghan specialists to train and cooperate with their Uzbekistani counterparts. With a cost of more than $4.5 billion, the Trans Afghan Rail Corridor, a strategic project with wide ranging economic effects, which starts from Uzbekistan and passes through Afghanistan to Pakistan's Gwadar port. By benefiting from this project, about $7 billion of transportation costs between Afghanistan and Uzbekistan have been reduced, and the transportation time has been reduced to five days, which greatly helps the trade and economic growth of the two countries. In addition, by connecting to the seaports of Pakistan, the European Union, Russia, Uzbekistan, and Afghanistan, they will be connected to international markets, and a new connection will be created for the export of goods to the countries of Southeast Asia and the Middle East. The project will connect the Central Asia Railway to South Asia through Afghanistan to become an important route for trade between these three economic giants. The Afghan Trans Railway project plays a big role in the economic development of the region by increasing the volume of trade and upgrading the transportation infrastructure. And this action strengthens the solidarity and cooperation between the three countries. In this global effort, this project will be connected to Pakistan's Gwadar port by passing through Afghanistan. With the implementation of this gigantic project, transportation between Afghanistan and Uzbekistan will be reduced to five days. The reconstruction of the Haritan Mazar Sharif railway line is Uzbekistan's commitment to the economic development of Afghanistan and a unique opportunity for training and cooperation of Afghan specialists with their counterparts in Uzbekistan. Also provides a project that, according to the Uzbekistan Railways, is a huge step in the direction of economic development and cooperation between Afghanistan and Uzbekistan with the achievement of multiple economic and social goals. Thank you for watching.